Wow, my phone is like making a reflection on my face. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> right now so this is um, a hotel room I have right now today we're doing the you are not good enough tag um, this tag originally comes from uh, Lily C reads here on YouTube I'll link to her channel down below she is a book tuber she tagged anyone who wanted to do this so I'm doing it too but I'm doing this anime edition so not all I, tr I the rules are I went with one per one character per franchise but what I've done is you have to take um, character names and you and I've written them all on these little uh, card thingies um, you're supposed to technically have a jar but as I'm traveling I don't really have a jar so I have to choose two cards and then choose one of those two to like answer the question and then talk briefly about it um, for me briefly is more like 30 minutes of babbling as uh, evidenced by my previous video um, so question number one you only have one more spot on your spelling bee team who would you pick to complete your team. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and just choose some random cards. I'm gonna close my eyes. You see I'm closing my eyes. I'm not looking. Alright, so we've got Chiaki from Minami K. Here's my little drawing of her. Or Japan from Hitalia. Um, Japan, by definition, just speak English. Um, so, uh, I'm gonna go with Chiaki because she's a little bit more well educated and she actually, she's only grade school, but she does know some English, um, I think. Okay, question number two. Both characters want to kill you. Which one would you kill first so you have a better chance of surviving? Again, not looking, not looking, not looking, not looking. We have. Momo Adachi from Peach Girl or Yume from Sunday's Dreamers. Uh, I'm gonna go with maybe Yume from Sunday's Dreamers because she actually has like magic powers and so she could kill me if she wanted to. Of course it would be against the rules of the magic, uh, the bureau thing that she's in. Um, Momo is just a normal person so I feel like um, I might be able to survive more easily with her if I had to like fight off against her. Okay, number three, you're on the Bachelor, Bachelorette, and you're down to these two characters. Which one gets the rose? Okay, we have Misty from Pokemon, or Pete Pumps from Ginmon Kaleidoscope. Uh, Misty's kind of a brat, so I'm going with Pete. You've been chosen for the Hunger Games, who would most likely volunteer in your place. I remember I put one character and I was like, oh my god, this would be perfect for this question. Uh, so you've got Sakamoto from Sakamoto Desuka or Mitsuki from Full Moon of Sagashite. I'm going with Sakamoto because he kind of helps, like, <laughs> I'm just remembering the time in like episode 5 or something when he like helps his friend get a part-time job or whatever and like works the job with him just because his friend asked him for help. So Sakamoto gets the... To, to go be in the Hunger Games for me. Uh, you're stranded on an island. Which character would you sacrifice to engage in cannibalism? We've got the Baron from <laughs> The Cat Returns or Howl from uh, Howl's Wing Castle. Both of them Jubilee characters and both of them like sort of like the handsome guy heroic person. I'm going to go with Howl by virtue of him being an actual human and he's human sized and he'll have more meat on his bones. You're the next DC Marvel superhero who is your sidekick with my own TV show who is my sidekick. We've got Haruhi from the Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya or Poochan from Best Student Council. These are hard. These are so hard. Um, I think... This is a hard choice. Put in the comments below which one would be, would you rather have a sidekick? Is Haruhi or Poochan? Um, Haruhi, I think, 
would only be my sidekick if I actually had supernatural powers. Um, if I was just a normal human and I had a TV show of my own, whatever. Even if I was a hero, she'd be like, meh. Normal humans don't interest me. So, I'm going to go temporarily with Poochan. And then, yeah. Man, that's a hard choice, though. I don't know which one to choose. Uh, post in the comments below which one you would choose. Number seven, you're, a man you're the manager of an avocado admiring company. Who would you fire for lack of communication skills? Aiko from Ojemajo Doremi or Hinata from Haikyuu? Um, I think I'll go with Hinata because Aiko, Aiko just says whatever she's thinking and like she just doesn't have any problems communicating for the most part. Hinata because Hinata has got some problems like talking. <laughs> Next question. You've just finished a book in which your favorite character dies. Which character is most likely to comfort you? We have Mitsuki from Rumbling Hearts or Konata Izumi from Lucky Star. Look at my terrible drawings. Aren't they terrible? Konata's a more interesting choice because she... Well, I mean, like, who doesn't love Konata? If you don't... Comment below if you don't like Konata. Tell me why you don't like her. I'm gonna go with Mitsuki from Rumbling Hearts because she's considering like what she went through just to make Takoyuki get all better and stuff. God, she sacrificed so much for him and he was a dick to her. I'm sorry. I have feelings about that anime. And they're not good feelings either. And then the OVA just ruined everything. And I hate it. <laughs> um, it's high school. Who would most likely be part of the popular clique? Luffy from One Piece. Look at my awful drawing. His straw hat is too big. Or Hanon from Romain Melody, Peach Peach Peach. Uh, I'm gonna say Hanon because Luffy just kind of does whatever he likes. Uh, Hanon is more into like fashion and stuff, and she could like blend in with the crap and with the popular people if she wanted. The day has arrived. You're finally a year older. Who would have the nerve to forget your birthday? Makoto from Free. Look at my really bad drawing. Or my Tokiha. Um, gosh, I don't know. Uh, I think I'm going to go with Makoto, because Mai is kind of like a more caring individual, and she, like, remembers things about her friends. You've just found an upcoming uh, booktube slash YouTube star. Who would most likely be? We've got Anna from When Marnie Was There, or Pegasus from Yu-Gi-Oh! Pegasus, of course, Pegasus. He'd be able to start every video off with his... Ooh, guy of a boy. Look at my terrible drawings. Aren't they bad? <laughs> Aren't I such a terrible artist? Sleep over time. Unfortunately, you can only invite one person. Who would you invite? We have... This is so hard. No, I don't want to choose between these two. Can I have both? We've got Babbit from Kodocha, which he would be fun to sleep over with. Or Junichiro Kagami from Ultimate Otaku Teacher. I would go with Kagami and then hope that Babbitt will like show up randomly like he sometimes does. Damn, you're pregnant. Who's the father or mother? Uh, I did put a lot of handsome guys in this and we have yet to get to a certain crush of mine. So maybe he'll show up in this one. Oh my god! Oh my god, he came! Oh my god! <laughs> we have Shigure from Fruits Basket, who, when I watched Fruits Basket in like high school, I had a crush on him. He was like my Fruits Basket crush. And then we have Sai from Hikaru no Go, and I have a crush on him too. I'm gonna say Sai. Shigure already has uh, a keto, so sorry. Spoiler for Fruits Basket, but it's been out for 10 years, so you don't have to. So if you're worried about spoilers now, you're. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Number 14, you've just written a super important text. Who would see it but not reply? Chiyo Chan from Azumanga Daio or Hotohori from Fushigiyuki? I was hoping he would come up with the last one with the babies. I love Hotohori. Look at him. Isn't he so cute? And then we've got cute little Chiyo Chan. Chiyo Chan! <laughs> I'm gonna say Chiyo Chan because Hotohori, there aren't cell phones in his world, but if there were, he would not be like rude and and ignore it. I'm the kind of person who reads texts and then doesn't reply ever. 
Sorry, people who text me. <laughs> but Chio Chan doesn't even know how to use a cell phone, so Chio Chan is ignoring my text. You've just woken up and it's time for breakfast. Okay, is this the last question? Yes. This, your, your mom's been replaced by Rockman from Rockman or Kakashi Sensei from Naruto. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Kakashi Sensei just because, like, Rockman. Like, he's super awesome and nice and stuff, but he's digital. He can't, like, cook food or whatever. Okay, uh, so that's the end of the You're Not Good Enough tag anime edition. Uh, so now I have to tag people. I'm tagging Anime America podcast. Uh, Robin, um, if you see this, please do this tag. It would be hilarious. Uh, and then I'm also tagging my writer friends, Kristen Kuistra, Elise Edmonds, Heather Hayden, Caitlin Barbie, um, who else? Uh, Sasuke Ichikawa, um, I think you have a blog, you're tagged too. Um, Renee, both of you, Renee Frey and Renee Harvey. Uh, also I'm tagging my friend Melion, but she doesn't have a blog or anything. No, she does, she has a blog. Melion, you're tagged! Okay, there we go. Um, okay, I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you again in the next video.